to the channel. I'm Meg Yvonne if you're new. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. If you are a new subscriber, welcome to the family. So today's video is gonna be all about the battle of the liquid blushes. Let's see which one is better. Are they equal? Is one a dupe for the other? So let's get into the video. Hi guys, welcome back. So I'm gonna hop right into today's video. And as you can see by the title, I am going to be comparing the Rare Beauty Liquid Blush and the Juvia's Place Liquid Blush. So, unless you've been under a rock, you know that the Rare Beauty blushes are top tier. They are amazing. They're really pigmented and you know, for the amount of product that you get and the amount that you have to use for the color payoff, you absolutely get, um, you get your money's worth. So the Rare Beauty product, it retails for, it retails for $23, okay? So um, I have the shade Grace, which is a matte bright rose mauve. I feel like the color online looks more of a purplish color. And when I, I actually ordered the Rare Beauty blush online and then I got it in person, I was thinking it was more of a purple tone, but I didn't mind it being more of like a pinkish color. Um, even though it does say like rose mauve, it looks more, I don't know, more purplish on the, on the screen. But then I've been wanting to try the Juvia's Place uh, blushes but I wanted to try it in a color that I actually wanted in my collection comment down below if you're like that if you want to try a product they may have it but you're like I don't necessarily see myself wearing that I don't really want that in my collection so I'm just gonna wait it out and to get what I want so that's the case that's what I did with this and I'm glad I did I happened to be in Ulta and they had it in this um, like bright pink color, it's called Pink Lady. And you guys know that I do have their, uh, I have a couple of their, their uh, volume um, palettes, their uh, blush palette. So this is their powder palette. This is in the shade Volume 4. I was just like, well, let, let's try it out. Let's see what's what. And let's see how we like it as compared to my Rare Beauty. So a couple of things to note, the Rare Beauty is uh, 0.25 fluid ounces and the Juvia's Place is 0.27 fluid ounces. So, I mean, it's a little bit bigger, um, but I just feel like for the price point, the Juvia's Place Liquid Blushes retail for $18 and the Rare Beauty Liquid Blushes retail for 23. So, just depending on how you look at it. Someone might look at it and say like, oh, for a couple bucks more, I can get the Rare Beauty. And then someone else might say, well, I can save that coin, those couple of, a uh, couple of cents, couple of dollars, I can save that and I can just go ahead and purchase the Juvia's Place, plus you get more. Um, what I will know is, the size of the applicators. So I'm going to show you both of them. So this is the Rare Beauty applicator. As you can see, it's kind of more on the shorter side um, as far as the tip of the applicator. And then the applicator for the Juvia's Place is kind of on the longer side, but they both have that like tilt or slanted um, portion so that it lays right on the cheek. But for this, they're not really the same color. <laughs> they're not really. They're not at all the same color. One, again, is more like a mauve color and the other is more like a bright pink. But I just wanted to compare the two as far as, you know, how they, um, you know, price point, how they lay on the skin, all of that stuff. But I thought that they would be complementary together. So I'm going to place the Rare Beauty, uh, excuse me, I'm going to place the Juvia's Place uh, blush right here. And that's in that color. And then I'm going to go directly on the other side. Or maybe I'll do it like this. I'll do one and one so that you can really, I can just tilt my face and you can see the difference. So this is the Rare Beauty one. 
try to get it in the same spot. Try it in the same spot. So as you can see, they, this is a brighter pink, okay? This is a more like, boom, I'm pink, I'm here. I want you to see me. Um, I don't want that to dry in that spot, so let me hurry up and make up my mind. So I'm going to, this is the Juvia's Place blush, and I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that out. And it blends out really nicely, as a liquid blush should. Um, you just have to work with it. Now, I will say this is, it's not too matte. It's not, I mean, too dewy. It's not really, it's kind of like a mix. I can still see a slight sheen on it. It's not just completely like glossy on this. The Rare Beauty Blush. Keep in mind, this is a matte. Now, I did leave them sitting for the same amount of time, but I feel like the Rare Beauty Blush is a little more challenging to blend out after it had been sitting. my nail okay I hadn't had time to like really sit down and do my nails so I just picked up some press ons and they're cute but my issues with press ons still remain that they are thin and um, I only they lasted a day literally I put them on Saturday night and they lasted till Sunday evening that you know I, I lost one by Sunday evening so yeah and I you know I have to soak it off and do all the things so I haven't had a chance to do that yet and that's why it's looking like that so this is really giving a lot more sheen I would say this is a more dewy finish this is definitely you can see it's a matte but this um, it has like a, a slight sheen it almost looks like a highlight and I felt like it was still easier to blend out even though it had been sitting for a second. So I'm just gonna pat this down just to like kind of diffuse that color some. And then, um, but I do like it. See if we can get the brush. I do like it. I do like it. It is, like I said, it is on the duty side, which I prefer. You know, it just depends on the vibe. I I, I will work with a duty blush and then like powder it down. Um, but I guess it just depends on what type of look you're going for. I am going to go ahead and finish up the rest of my face, and then I'll be back to give you my thoughts. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. Overall, my thoughts on the two blushes are that it's just a matter of preference. I like them both, and I think it would just depend on availability, because for me, like, which store is closer, Sephora, Ulta, um, what I, which, which item I can get quicker. So if, like, say I wanted, like, maybe, like, a terracotta color blush, and Maybe it was available at Sephora or and it wasn't available at Ulta, you know, with the Juvia's Place line, but they had it at Sephora with the Rare Beauty line. Because it's only a price differential of a couple of dollars, like I said, the Juvia's Place blush retails for $18 and the Rare Beauty blush retails for $23. And those prices are according to the Sephora and the Ulta website. So it just depends on availability and preference of color choices. Um, I don't think that you could go wrong with either one of them. I do like the fact that the Rare Beauty blushes come in matte and a dewy finish. 
and from what i see for the juvia's place finish it's only like this kind of more dewy finish so if that's important to you that will be something to know i know for me um i can work around that if i do have a dewy um excuse me if i do have a dewy uh, liquid blush i think they were originally formulated to work with their powder blushes anyway so that's why they went with that particular finish so that it wouldn't look chalky upon layering them with each other so if i put on the liquid blush and then i put on the powder blush it wouldn't you know start to kick up or pick up the product so that's one thing to keep in mind too i did not layer either other products I, I just have them on as is so of course the rare beauty is a matte blush and the juvia's place is like a more of a dewy finish but i like them both i can't say that uh, one is better than the other i did wear the juvia's place prior to but i never um i did wear the juvia's place earlier today because i filmed this video earlier and I thought like, well, if I'm talking about both of them, I actually want to have them side by side as opposed to just mentioning the Rare Beauty product. But I do think they both wear well. So that's something to know as well because I had it on all day. And for me, especially when I use powder blushes, those, that's the first thing to go. So I tend to be a little teeny, teeny, teeny bit heavier on the blush. Um, but they do last really well throughout the day and that's one of the things that I like about liquid or more like a cream blush um, because they give you more staying power. So those are my thoughts. I really appreciate your support. Thanks for tuning in. If you have not already, go ahead and hit the like button. Give this video a thumbs up. It really does help out my channel. It helps push my videos out to more viewers and it helps me grow the family. Thank you so much for all those who are subscribed. If you're a recent subscriber, if you are a more of a veteran subscriber, I do appreciate the support. It means absolutely the world to me just to have your support and to have you, you know, watching my videos and support my content. So if you're new here and you've never seen my channel before, I share beauty, lifestyle, and inspirational content. So if that sounds like your thing, go ahead and subscribe. Join the family. We have tons of fun over here. I upload videos on Tuesdays and Fridays at 12 p.m. Eastern time. So go ahead, hit subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can be tuned in each and every time my videos go live. Thank you so much again for the support. Oh, one thing I do want to know about um, the Juvia's Place blush. I do have it on was layered with a couple other products but i do have it on as like a lipstick and i love that about like products that are multifunctional and it, it's really doing well so i can say that you know it doesn't make my lips feel sticky or any crazy thing like that so that's something to keep in mind too but i feel like you could use the um, blushes for both um, you can use both blushes as a lip stain or, you know, a lipstick or something like that. So, yes. Anyway, thank you for tuning in and I'll see you guys in my next video. Mwah. Bye.